please welcome Robert Gedalia with a speech entitled, Phenomenal Women. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Rough Riders, welcome guests. About 20 after 11, I was in the hallway and I saw Carol Ward, I think for the first time ever. Carol had a look on her face of, I, I can't tell, the horror, and I just, I just hugged her and she was started really crying. I started crying. We didn't say anything, but I felt her in a place what I'm not that familiar with. Really love. Carol is one of the phenomenal women I know in my life. The last time I saw that kind of fear, in somebody's eye with Bernice, who lives in our building. We saw her on 9-11 when she walked home from World Trade Center. There was a look that Carol had. And then she told me what happened, and you'll see it all on the news, and car crashing on the sidewalk, and she saw people being hit. And they were across the way from her. I'm grateful for the phenomenal women in my life. Many of them are in this room. My mother and grandmother when I was a kid and grew up on my 10th Street in Brooklyn. Great wisdom from both of them. My mother had the most style. She was the Jewish Ava Gabor. My mother was a knockout and great style, but had a heart. This place of this heart that Carol Ward, Randy, Randy's my wife. She'll, we've been together 38 years. We'll be married 34 years. Randy has Parkinson's. It's now 14 or so years. It's a progressive disease. Everything I'm going to say, Randy said, it's okay to say, because I would never do anything to embarrass Randy. But we're using a commode now in the house. And some of you have small kids. I'm taking care of the commode and my caregiving over these last few years, especially the last four or five, is my love for Randy made visible. Anything I do for it, it used to be very burdensome, and how come me, still is every once in a while, but I'm, I, I don't know what the words are, the place Carol took me to, the place Randy, the place I've been in, I'm, I'm more patient than I've ever been in my life, and I'm not a patient person, or I never saw myself as a patient person. I've always been a loving, nice guy. This is on a different place. The place, couch, it was beyond how am I doing, how do I look, how are my gestures is, I know I'm capable of it. I've become a more phenomenal man because of all the beautiful, phenomenal women I've met. Randy is one ballsy woman, sassy, gutsy. The only thing that brings me great pain is to see my wife, Randy, in pain. I can deal with my own stuff. This is more painful. <coughs> and Randy is not a whiner. We do, we're out there. different. 
I feel more loving to myself and to other people than I have at any other time in my life. But, you know, I was going to go for a cheap laugh there, but I decided, you know, stage four metastatic prostate cancer and chemotherapy will give you a jolt of reality. I was, I'm grateful for every woman, from my grandmother, mother, especially Randy, and this moment with Carol Ward to know. I'm grateful I'm allowing myself to be even more sensitive and to become a phenomenal man. Phenomenal woman is my Angela. Pretty women wonder where my secret lies. It lies really, I think, underneath the connecting on this level. You're all phenomenal. And I, this club, has given me an opportunity to unleash my phenomenalness. I know I'm supposed to leave you with a lot. I don't feel it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Even though you're supposed to tell me, don't say thank you at the end of the Toastmaster <coughs> speech. They're supposed to thank you. Thank you for being there in my corner. I'm there in yours. Thank you.